All right, so I'm going to show you how to clean this up so it's ready to be turned in. Because right now it is not ready to be turned in. That's for sure. Um, what I'm going to do here is first clean up my entire scene. Edit, delete by type history. Okay, I want you to go into window hypergraph hierarchy. And in here, you're going to see just meshes. Okay, no transform nodes, all meshes. These meshes have to be renamed. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and say, go to the channel box editor. And this main unit, see how I can click here and I can automatically click here and over here I can rename it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give this part a name. I'm going to say body. And I'm going to use a naming convention here with a capital letter. What's this thing? See, now I don't need that anymore, so I can delete it. And that's why I use the hypergraph hierarchy. R2D2. And for this stuff, you know, like this is left wing. And why is it important that we we get into such detail? Well, later on, you know, when it, when we get into animation, what happens is, you know, if I have left wing bottom, I can set a, a set driven key there so that left wing bottom opens and then all the other ones open too. So it's very important that you kind of know where I'm trying to go with this right wing bottom you see I put an underscore on these things and I try to keep them named conventionally just very nice left wing top now if I want to save myself a step I can copy this And just change a few things like right wing top. The locator we don't need in the scene anymore. These image planes. Well, I want you to keep them in the scene just so I know that you used image planes for this, but you don't have to make them visible. Save your scene out, just like so. And this is how I want it turned in, okay? All right, also, I want you to post, you know, I want you to get in the habit of making screenshots. So I'm gonna show you a screenshot method. Uh, Shift Command 4 on the keyboard on a Mac will make a screenshot. If I have wireframe unshaded, I can show my wireframe. Often I keep a Facebook channel open for my students. So that way we can all post in Facebook or whatever we're using at whatever college. So if, you, if you're if you a professor or a teacher looking at these videos for a supplemental uh, thing for your classroom, please note that you should add something into the structure where the students can actually show each other's work. Okay, uh, Not just turn in blind assignments to you. Uh, it's it's almost important, if not more important, for them to see each other's work. That way they have competition. They know that you're okay with the class, or me, but to competition against each other is more important. So here, I also, here's another way to do this. If I set it to frame one, by going like this, I can go a play blast square box. And I'll choose encoding a ping.
from window. And I can save the file to the desktop. And wait a minute, not that. Let's go like this. Let's turn this off, the movie off, and try this. Okay, there's a way to make a movie, but um, there's a way to make a screenshot too. Let's see here. Nah, eh, you know what? I would concentrate more on using the Shift Command 4 or Print Screen on a PC because you get a higher resolution anyway. So, if you hit Print Screen on a PC, you're gonna find out that made a screenshot, and then you can take it into Adobe Photoshop and go File New, OK, and then Edit Paste. You can also use MS Paint for worst case scenario in case your school or college has not bought Photoshop, which would be a shame. All right, now that we've got this out of the way, also make sure that everything's kind of touching, you know, like very close to it. These two, I would say, these need to be moved down a little bit. And what you can do is highlight one single face and go control right click to shell and I can move that down, that whole part down a little bit. So that's what should have happened on the first one I duplicated. But I, w I just want to show you that there is methods to move this stuff and certainly you can separate all the objects by going into um, mesh separate. That's another way to do it but you're gonna have a big old mess so I would say it's so much easier just to go to shell and move these down just a little bit. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to take and combine forms together. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Don't forget that all counted for its history. I just moved a bunch of stuff that all made new history, that all made new transform nodes, so I have to go delete by type history. All right, there we go. That is the cleaning up phase. And please turn in your MB file and your screenshot if you know we have some kind of way to display the screenshot on either like a Facebook or a gallery page. Okay, all right, enjoy. And on to the next chapter.